Hey there, this is Jacob from RoboFlow, here today to talk about the Segment Anything model from Facebook. So, in case you haven't heard yet, Facebook released the Segment Anything model, which allows you to annotate masks in a zero-shot fashion, and it's proved to be extremely powerful. So many of you uh, know that we're pretty excited about Yola V8 at RoboFlow, and so you can see here a GitHub star history of uh, Yola V8 versus Segment Anything, and you can see that Segment Anything is actually shooting off in, in a couple days of its release in a way that uh, is completely unprecedented, and everyone is finding this to be a really exciting new model. So we're going to go ahead and break down Segment Anything into what went into the research uh, that was formulated in it, and we'll even dive in a little bit into the repo, and stay tuned for a future video where we'll be walking through some in-depth code on exactly how to use Segment Anything. So uh, diving into the research, so the Segment Anything model is uh, promising to be a new foundational model for computer vision. The way that it was trained um, is that it was trained to detect valid masks in an image. So in natural language processing, there's been a lot of pre-training routines uh, going all the way back to BERT in 2018, uh, where uh, NLP models are predicting the missing token in a text sequence. Now, Vision never really found uh, its pre-training routine that would be like this for computer vision models. Mass pixels just don't necessarily have the semantically uh, packed information that a uh, missing uh, word might, because words are more densely packed with semantics. And so things have come out in Vision like Clip, where uh, images and text have been embedded into the same space and bringing in the text side of things seems to be doing well, but nothing has really figured out how to featureize images extremely well. Now, Segment Anything has kind of broken this by uh, bringing in a huge, uh, an absolutely huge semantic uh, segmentation uh, data set to the pre-training routine and showing that a large transformer can actually be pre-trained on this to produce extremely rich features. So let's uh, dive into the way that exactly they formulated the task. So the segment anything task is to uh, predict a valid set of masks given a prompt. This prompt could be a set of points that are wanting to be annotated or it could be uh, a mask that's already being worked on or it could be a clip-like vector that's coming in as a prompt. Uh, and so uh, this means that given the set of things that are being prompted, you need to uh, predict the masks. So that means that during training, you can do a lot of little perturbations to the prompts that you're putting into the model to then get valid uh, predictions back as you're supervising the routine. So one thing to note about this task that is different than the NLP routines is that this is not fully unsupervised. This needs to be used on a data set and the, the routine is actually a supervision routine, um, which, is, which is slightly different. Now let's talk a little bit about the way the model is actually broken down. So the model is broken down into two sections. Uh, that is first, it's a uh, transformer block that takes an image and compresses it into a 256 by 64 by 64 feature matrix. And this is a very feature rich uh, feature matrix because it's then able to use this for a zero shot on any prompt that comes in. So that means anything that you're clicking in any different kind of image is able to use the same feature matrix. And that, that, then those features are, are passed into a decoder head. So the points, the boxes, and the features are all getting pulled together into a model to be uh, then decoded out into a potential uh, to p potential masks. And then you get a list of valid masks back from the model. So this is uh, really a revolutionary architecture because you can see here that a giant transformer is being put behind of the image uh, encoder, and you can put that back on a GPU, and then you can run the smaller model up on the web. So that means that you can kind of decouple these two steps where you have a very strong featureization process happening on the image, and then little things happening uh, off of it, which is something that I think is going to be something that we'll see more and more image models are doing something like that with a really big uh, transformer model. And a lot of new soda things will probably come out of uh, an architecture like this. So uh, also, another revolutionary thing about the paper is they worked on a very large scale data set, 11 million images and over a billion masks. This is the biggest segmentation corpus that has ever been produced to date. And the way they're able to do it is with a model in the loop. So there's three stages of the data set collection process. They first did an assisted manual step where annotators are annotating along a small SAM model that was probably trained on you know, some other mass data sets that were already out there. Um, and they're kind of moving along and they're creating this data set. And then they start to go to semi-automatic where annotators are only asked to annotate masks that the SAM is unsure of. And then they actually went full auto where they were able to actually fully generate data set masks uh, with the model itself because they already had 
gotten to a pretty good point where they could sort out ambiguous mass and, and do a full sweep where they prompt over the uh, entire image. Um, so what are some of our predictions here at Rotoflow for the Segment Anything model? Well, first of all, uh, it's obvious that all sorts of labeling tools will be using this. We are going to be included in that where uh, you'll be able to run SAM to uh, supervise your models even faster by annotating data faster. Um, and then, you know, there will also be numerous applications that are built off SAM features uh, that, uh, you know, will use its zero shot capabilities. So one prediction I have personally is that I'm pretty curious to see who's going to take these uh, feature matrices, maybe it'd be one of you, and training, supervising an object detection model uh, on it to see how it does on the Cocoa data set. Because these features have proved to be an ex uh, extremely semantically rich thing that also has a very good notion of localization. And then uh, even more impactful than just like the model itself and the features that come out of it is that it is uh, a new framework of a way to be thinking about the way to model CV problems where you have a super large transformer that's being pre-trained and then bringing out rich features and then doing some small things downstream on top of that. So there's going to be a lot of exciting things. And I think this also gives us a little bit of a window into the way they did the featureization in the GPT-4 uh, model because there's probably some large transformer that's compressing an image down into some sort of feature matrix. But We'll have to see how this all plays out. Um, so thanks for watching this video today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for new content and especially where we'll go on and we'll do a hands-on dive into the code of Segment Anything and you'll see um, not only how to take apart this repo and how you can run the model yourself, but we'll be diving into a Colab notebook and uh, we'll be seeing all kinds of exciting things on how to combine this with other models. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos coming out from from us and from Peter soon. And until then, we'll see you in the next video. So thanks so much.